Uh, Coach John Budner, Marquette Hoops. I just wanted to ask about at halftime what the outlook was. I mean, we've watched Marquette all year drop behind in the first half and come back and dominate in the second half to win or almost beat Purdue, but you really never let them get, back, get it back to a single possession. Was there a key coming out of the half, having dominated, you felt to keeping them down? You know, we thought that uh, if we could defend the three-point line, obviously that would give us our best opportunity to win. We talked about at halftime uh, playing it similar to a scrimmage. We'd won the first half by 13, and we wanted to talk about playing it 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, I thought we did a good job. You know, the difference in the game is, you know, when, when you can – Defend teams, and you know, you look at Joplin, who can really shoot the ball. He was 0 for 7. They were 4 for 31 from the three-point line, which that's an incredible weapon for those guys. And so I thought when we defended the three-point line, that made a huge difference. And uh, and then offensively, I just thought we really shared the ball. We did some good things. Um, turned it over a little bit more than I wanted to. But when you get 14 assists on 26 made field goals, that's a good night. Uh, three guys up here, older gentlemen. Uh, really carried us um, when we needed baskets. I can think back of, you know, uh, when they made big baskets. DJ Burns had his um, career high in assists with seven. Um, you know, obviously they did a good job of taking him away, but he became a very efficient passer. I think Casey made a big shot. DJ Horn made big shots. And so, you know, we just relied on our experience and, and our, on our defense. Kevin, uh, sundown was just after the, the first TV timeout of the second half. Understanding that, how impressive was what Mo did tonight? I mean, he's, I mean, you think about this run. I mean, he has been so impressive. I mean, you just, you know, what happens is when good players start getting great stats, you don't even realize they have it until the end of the game. Like, I never knew he had 15 rebounds. I mean, he's been so valuable, double doubles and, you know, playing great defense, and we're asking so much of him. Uh, I'm proud of him. Um, he has stayed true to his religion. He stayed true to our basketball team. And we're talking about a young man that gives us everything every time he steps on the court. Next question, again here on the left, in the middle. Scott Dixon with the AP. Kevin, again, similarly along the 83 thing, I know you want to, it doesn't want to be a big history lesson, but how aware have you been of that as this run has continued, and, and what will those conversations be like over the next couple of days? Yeah, I mean, I think every team has to, you know, create their own path. And our 83 team, not only our 83, our 74 team has been tremendous. Um, you know, they, they've, been, they've been big brothers, uncles, uh, maybe some of them granddads to a couple of our kids, uh, been great. Uh, but, you know, we, we talk about, we don't have to talk about that history now because we celebrate it the entire time. It's been talked about since I've been here and it's gonna be talked about, you know, as long as we ever gonna remember. So it's not one of those things where we gotta to point to it and say, here's what happened in 83, here's what happened in 74. We talk about the great David Thompson, you know, obviously had a statue, you know, uh, unveiled for him this year. So th those guys are always around. So it won't be the conversations about, hey, by the way, this is what happened. Uh, it'll be more so, hey, your big brothers, your uncles, this is what they've done before, and you know because we've celebrated it the entire time. Coach, we'll go to your right now. Uh, Chris Vanino with The Athletic. Uh, DJ's second foul that got overturned after the review, what was your understanding of what happened? Hey, hey, I'm so glad they did that. You know, we're a pressing team, and we trap all the time, and every time they, he was in the cylinder, he was too close to him, and so it's a new rule that we get called all the time because we trap. And basically, they called him in the cylinder, meaning he was too close. And we were doing all of this. I'm just glad they went to the monitor. It's the right call. Any call that went our way was the right call tonight. How big was it? I think it was big. I think it was a huge call, but it was the right call.